The Jawa might be one of the smallest action figures in the vintage Kenner Star Wars line, but he's one of the most loved. Even as a kid, most of them loved having many Jawa figures, as many as they could, sometime more than Stormtroopers. He's also loved by most collectors of the series, who are always hoping to find one of those rare Jawas with a plastic, or you could call it vinyl cape, rather than the normal release cloth cape. The vinyl cape was changed very early in the Star Wars run, and is one of the rarest released Star Wars figures today. However, if you lived in Mexico, thanks to Lily Ladd, you had a Jawa that was different from the two in the U.S. Not released by Lily Ladd until 1983, the Jawa in a cloth cape was released on the Return of the Jedi card. Looking at the figure carded, you might not notice anything different at all. But if you do notice something different, it could be the gun. As it didn't come with the Jawa gun, that the Kenner figure did. It was replaced with a gun used for two Star Wars figures from the Empire Strikes Back collection, the TIE Fighter Pilot and Cloud Car Pilot. Just so you know, if you find one of these black pistols and it has an L marked on it, then you have the Lily Lad Jawa gun. But let's get back to the figure itself. Taking the figure out of the package, well, I hope you don't find one and open it, but let's say if you find a loose one, you will notice that his hood is not connected to the rest of the cloth cape. And if you pull on it, You'll see that it comes off. And yes, it was made to come off. That Lily Lad Jawa has a removable hood, which is kind of silly because under that hood is a Jawa wearing another hood. Why Lily Lad decided to go this extra step when none of the other companies that did Star Wars figures did is really unknown. Maybe for kids to feel that they got more for their money for buying such a small figure, but if that was the case, you think they would have put it on the package. The reason might be unknown, but collectors and Jawa fans don't care. They want it and will pay big money for it. A loose Lily Lad Jawa can run on the secondary market between $1,000 to $1,600. And that's loose. For one on the card, well, it's hard to get a going price on that one because they rarely come up. The Vinyl Cape Jawa might sell for a lot more money, but the Lily Lad Jawa with removable hood is rarest of the two, even more so if it's carded. Well, that's a look at the Star Wars Vintage Jawa that came with a removable hood. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>